display of high emotion for one family in South Australia. The Haymans descended on old Willunga Hill to cheer on Matthew in his last race. Ride Media took a moment to go and have a chat with Matthew's brothers, Marcus and Michael, as well as Matthew's wife, Kim. Here's a quick couple of grabs of what it was like for them as they watched Matthew race for the last time. Marcus Heyman. Yes. We're uh, here for the last day of a, an epic career. Yep. Your brother's about to retire and he's about to come up the hill for the second last time. Yep. You've got the family around you. How's the emotions? Uh, they're pretty high at the moment. Um, it's something that the whole family has kind of been involved with, with cycling for a very long time. Like I, uh, I remember when we moved to Canberra when I was 11, my big brother started riding. Um, you know, I'm 42 now, and so we've been riding and around cycling ever since. So it's like 20, 20 something years of uh, being part of the cycling community. So it's pretty amazing that this is probably the last day, most likely the last time I'll ever come to Adelaide and see a bike race. Maybe the last time I'll stand out on the side of a road in like 40 degree heat, which maybe I won't miss. But hey, it's going to be interesting to see what happens after this race as well with Matthew's career. Cycling is a real family affair. I know yeah. that um, it was a big part of your parents' sort of uh, early years when they were mums and dads. Yep, yep. Taking you to country carnivals all over the place. You raced, then got a hole in your heart, then had an operation. Now you follow it as a fan of, yep. of and with purpose. Yes. Yeah, well, cycling's a massive part of our family, actually. Like, so um, my big brother lives in Holland and he's actually owns a bike shop. Um, I'm married to my wife and we met cycling and Matthew's actually married to an ex-cyclist as well. So, you know, it's a massive part of our life and it's always been there ever since we started riding. You know, like when my big brother started riding, we lived on a farm with dirt roads and Michael used to ride the dirt roads for as much as he could. Um, and now we're, you know, we all moved to Canberra and we grew up there, which was an amazing community to actually be part of with that cycling uh, down there. It's been something that's given us a lot of opportunities. And what's your lasting memory of his career? Ah, uh, look, winning the Commonwealth Games in Melbourne um, and the, the obviously the Paris Bay, but uh, Commonwealth Games in Melbourne, we were actually there. So me and my wife actually went down. We were watching it, um, and I remember uh, Matthew being really excited and relaxed before the start. And whenever he's like that, we kind of always know that he's on a good ride. Um, and he was definitely like that before then. We didn't think he was going to do great. Or we didn't know how he was going to go, but he turned out that he did amazing and won the race. And it was so awesome to actually be there. Michael Heyman, you started all of this and now the, the racing dynasty of the Heyman family is about to pull it quits. Well, it's my, my brother's going to retire, but I, there might be another one in the makes. Yeah. Who knows? So. Certainly a few children are in yep. crowd here. Yep. You've yep. come over for Holland just for this? Or? Yep, yep, I've just come over. We, I flew in last uh, Tuesday and um, I'll be going back tomorrow. So just really came in just to see Matthew's last race. You were there for the beginning and you were there for the end. Yeah, and I also saw Parish Bay. Okay. So All I've right. se seen the good ones. All right, well, uh, the bunch is about to come. We'll stop the interview. We'll let you cheer your lungs yep. out and we'll just say, I okay. uh, hope you don't get too emotional today. No worries. Thank you. Okay, thank you. I used to call you Kim Shirley, now I call you Kim Heyman. Um, mother of three and husband of one particular special man who's doing his last bike race today. Are you anxious, excited, nervous? Excited, Where are you? very excited. We were nervous yesterday when we saw him come down, but he's fine, he assures us he's fine and we're excited to be here today. The bunch is about to come past, so we're not going to talk for very long, but quickly, your first emotions when you heard that he was deciding to stop racing, the thing that you never probably could see coming. Oh, wow. Um, Geez, that's a hard one. No, it's it's been trickling for some years now when it's going to end, when it's going to end, and I've just been so happy that it has been a chosen moment. It hasn't been something that's been forced upon him. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be good to have him home, strange to have him home, or are uh, you just going to keep on the road? No, no, no. It's going to be adjustment. It is an adjustment every time he comes home. We have to work out how everyone's doing everything again. Yeah. But, um, yep, the kids grow and change every day, so it'll be great to have him along for a lot more of that. He's stopping racing, but as your t-shirt says, there's a message that he has given to a lot of people. I'm just going to film that if that's all right. I think he will be the kind of guy who always keeps riding. I've seen, I don't see him stopping. I don't see him stopping. Okay. Thanks for having a quick chat. No worries.